what's up guys relax pull back here and today we are on my favorite deck in all of hearthstone's history in at least a deck in the top three uh which is cube lock fun fact the other two are warriors i'd like to say yeah i think my top three favorite decks of all time in hearthstone would be cube lock dead man's hand warrior and patron warrior man i miss patron warrior i want to fucking play patron warrior Yo, Blizzard, please give us back Patron Warrior. I don't ask for much in this world. Just want a Patron Warrior. Please, Daddy Blizzard. <laughs> uh, anyways, though. Um, with that being said, I mean... What is there to, what is there to say that I haven't already said about Cube Lock? Deck is like... Omega fun. It's not the best deck right now, if I'm being honest. It's just a lot of fun to play. Um... And yeah, it has a shitload of value. I believe it can go late against 90% of decks through Carnivorous Cubes and Malganus and Dreadlords and things like that with Gul'dan. Um, and theoretically a good enough early game draw either with Dirty Rat to pull Quest Rewards or uh, Void Caller Summoning a Void Lord to protect against, you know, Pirate Warrior could be good enough to win the game. Anyways, though, with that being said, um, let's kill the first game. Actually, let's collect this and then let's kill the first game and see how things go. All right, guys, with that being said, I'll see y'all there. All right, so our first match is the mage. Um, remember when I said we have all those strats planned out to win the game? It works against every single deck except for the mage deck. Um, okay. I mean, I guess Dirty Rat could be good. If we can Dirty Rat both of his Sanctum Chandlers, then I guess we win. But, or else, I mean, this matchup feels near, but unless it could be Quest, in which case it could be slow enough to the point where we're able to win. Also, you guys uh, will notice that I changed my hero portrait, so I want to use the uh, Thousand Wins portrait to prove I am good at this video game. I have won a thousand games with Warlock. That means I'm good, right? Right? Uh, it's Ignite Mage. Uh, it sucks that we just lose this one. We're down on turn 7 or 8 is, like, typical. 6 with Encounters Flow, so... Eh. Oh. Yeah, this card away. Maybe... Maybe if we have 10 Malganuses, we'll have a chance to win. He just won't have enough APM to kill us. Ugh. Pain. Nothing but pain. Playing a fun deck, man. Fucking sucks. <laughs> Playing a fun fair deck fucking blows. I need to draw, like, plague number two. Even that doesn't work. Okay, I mean, this is fine, I guess. Does this bring me up to ten? Oh, fuck me. Uh, I mean, to be fair, it doesn't really matter. Hopefully he's gonna play something else I can trade. Hopefully I pull this. I mean, the odds of me pulling this is very low, but what can you do? Um. This draw would have been insane against any other matchup. It's actually kind of scary. Sorry about that interruption, by the way. I don't want to sit through that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this this matchup feel is it's unwinnable for the deck we're playing. Uh, sadly, I mean, again, unless I get like somehow double dirt rat, pull both of his sanctum chandlers, then I have a chance at winning, or pull both of his. Uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice, then I have a chance at winning, but or else the, the matchup's just 
this deck has always just lost to those combo decks. Um, because you're never faster than them. Unless I get it yet, like, five Malganuses on the board by turn five. It, it's just a loss, sadly. Anyways, though, with that being said, let's queue up the next one and hopefully we get to, we get a win. All right, yeah, let's hopefully we get some wins. I guess I'll see y'all there. All right, um... Well, I don't think I actually have time to resolve this, is the problem here. But I'm gonna keep it anyways. It's a super, super greedy keep, because there's a very high possibility I don't have a chance to actually resolve it. Um, but the thing is, like, this could be just good enough, is what I'm hoping. Like, I'm hoping that this on four will be able to, like, die to whatever the fuck he plays. And then... I'll have a huge taunt mini, hopefully like a Void Lord just taunt there, and then I could skull pull another Void Lord. That that would be like almost ideal in this matchup. But as we know, uh never goes ideally uh when you're queuing into uh Iron Warrior. That deck always seems to have a really good draw, except for when I play it. That's actually such a good pull for me. Yeah. I could try to pull quest reward. If I'm being honest, like that, that is a possibility of a pull, but I would rather just play it now. And then this way, I mean, it, it, it kills off a whole bunch of his minions, right? So I'm fine with that. Um, well, Giannis is okay. Void Lord is insane though. He's gonna go a one drop that reduces his weapon by one into weapon. Or they always have Captain, I guess. Uh, they always have Captain. I have actually yet to see one of them that doesn't draw this card on curve. Like, I've played how many games with this deck? Is that better? This is actually fairly decent here, but... Use some to develop weapon here. Develop possibly weapon in a 1-1 one -one or a 1-drop, so max a 2-2. Two -two. And I can just develop... Alright, that's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. I can develop this. I still have to play this first. Oh, that's actually the best draw possible almost. If I caught if I pull this, that's huge. Unfortunate. Actually super, super unfortunate. Um Skull the Minari though. Beautiful. Hopefully this works how I want it to work and not how it's gonna work. Oh, sick, it works exactly how I want it to work. That is a beautiful thing. It's actually a beautiful thing that it works that way. This is gonna be huge here though. Okay, I just need to draw Gul'dan now, sometime soon, and I'm fine. It's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's insane how a three drop just did 14 damage, I feel. Right, I'll take a void, Lord. Oh, that's hopefully, hopefully an army of void lords is enough to win the game. You could have argued that I should have killed the two, three there. Um, the 2 3 will possibly get off three cannon shots. Um, which is a possible. It's a possibility. It's not a guarantee. Uh, I guess now it's going to get like four. What can you do though? I was really hoping it would have hit here. Oh. I just got a follower on the Twitch channel. Thanks for following the channel, bud. That's fine. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna get another Void Caller, or Void Lord. Ooh, that's actually a really good draw. Sadly, no Dread Lord. That fucking sucks. A Dread Lord would have been. A deal draw, I guess. That was... I wanted both hits to hit here, but... Yeah, Dreadlord is the best draw in my deck. 
Is it, I mean, a five stun is just very good against this board. And then, obviously, I want to hit. Come on, man. Sometimes your opponent's draws are actually just God. Like, actually best draw possible. Jesus Christ. Although. This is going to be very nice here. One, two, three. Can't easily get that down to four. Oh, we'd have a four here. I only have to get that down to five. There was no two. Fuck. I miscounted. Whoops. I actually miscounted and that's really fucking bad. I thought there was a two, what the fuck? Oh no, that thing had a rush. Mm, I fucked up. I fucked up hard, that one's on me. Um. I guess I can just slam this here. It's not ideal, but I, it's something I could do. It depends if I draw Dreadlord or not. I'm getting really low, so I don't want to tap again. Of course he hits the wrench caliper. I have never hit this card with Juggernaut. The amount of games I've played with that deck, I've never hit this one. It's actually insane. It's okay. If he kills us here, I slam this and I'm chilling. I think the play is still just a slam Gul'dan. I'm gonna draw bomb here anyways, so. Oh, I should have played this first, whoops. In blood. Because I missed two damage now if I res the Gul'dan. Unfortunately, I missed on Gul'dan. <laughs> I hit three Void Lords, though. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked, Pirate Warrior. And that's how you would. You just need to draw really fucking well. <laughs> uh, Actually, though, keeping that Skull of the Minari was, like, the biggest... It was so correct, even though it felt so wrong at the time. Oh, uh, so beautiful. Anyways, though... With that being said, let's queue up the next one. I guess I'll see y'all there. Okay, so my guess is this is even lock. If I had to take a guess, I would say even lock. So, hopefully. This is one of those matchups where drawing a skull is super, super important. I mean, this is really good too. Oh, it's pain. It's either pain or arena lock. Cube, if my memory serves, cube is typically bad against that deck, which makes things kind of awkward. But that's if my memory serves correctly. And that's if he's just good at piloting Reno Lock. Um, Reno Lock has, has always been a tough matchup for the more mid rangey decks, but if the person is good at piloting Reno Lock, if they're bad, it's not nearly as bad. Like, I, I, I remember playing games against people. Oh, this is just an aggro deck. Okay. Against an aggro deck, I feel like we're kind of favored now. I want to play this with its super greed. Okay, hitting the Void Caller here is really, really nice, but summoning a Void Lord is huge. Again, this is 18 health. Against this deck, you have to see this as 18 health, which is very, very nice. Very nice. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. he doesn't play anything else, this wipes. Which would be really nice. Of course. Of course. Why wouldn't he actually just hit perfect high roll? 
I fucking hate this game. I fucking despise this game. Time to blow five five. Okay, I guess that's fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not in a good position, but I'm in a position nonetheless. Uh, if I draw the file, I can still win. Because the file is a full board wipe. Alright, one, two, three from the tokens, four here. Oh. Jesus Christ, man. You drew both of those in the top ten cards of your deck? I mean... The sure. Yeah, some people are just built diff. I need to draw... I need a top deck exactly the file. To have a chance at winning. If not, I lose the game. And if he has a second Wicked Whispers, I just lose too, so... file one time the file one time the file one time uh the file's the only card i want to see at least with anything oh no that's a loss there's no way this lets me survive right nope not with hits like that two three four five six seven Theoretically not dead. I'm dead to Doomguard, Wicked Whispers, Soulfire. So four cards in his entire deck. Okay. That's neither of those cards. So Doomguard no longer kills me. I guess it's the only reason he's doing this is because he has a lethal in hand. He's just BMing. Like a douche. But, uh. uh, there were so many cards there that I could have drawn that were fine. Well, it was exactly Dark Skies, but still. Or, sorry, Defile, but. Uh. My draw is just really, really weak against them. I drew the Plague of Flames, which is good against Reno Lock or Even Lock. But it's really, really bad against um, aggro decks. Is what makes that which which is what sucks. But whatever. Uh, let's just give the next one. And hopefully we don't just go 50-50. Alright, guys. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Another fucking pirate warrior. This matchup is so fucking stressful. It's actually sh such a hard matchup to win. Yo, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this deck is actually so hard to pilot correctly. It's insane. Like in the current meta, I don't think I've ever... There's no other deck I think that's as hard to pilot as this one. Ignite Mage is easier. Uh, all the forms of Warrior are easier. I mean, <laughs> every form of Warrior, both the aggro and control, do the exact same thing. Just one of them plays slower pirates. I mean, sure. Okay. At least you drew patches. Something goes right today. Okay. This one on three. That's perfect. This is really good here on three. I would love to play that one, but that's too good. This next turn is also huge. If you play something with two attack, I can play this straight into it and then touch it. That feels so bad for him. The fact he had to slam this feels like actually terrible for him. I know I've been there. <laughs> okay, the file here is also such a big draw. Actually ginormous draw, bro. Okay, so it's hit, touch, gain four. You left with a 1-1. One, one. Or I can Defile Touch. If I went to Defile Touch. That's actually pretty solid. That's a really nice draw. 
<laughs> okay. Well, remember when I said it's a super, super terrifying matchup? Sometimes you just, uh, they low roll and then the matchup's free. Anyways, though, uh, let's keep the next one and because we have time for one more at least. And hopefully we go above 50-50s. Alright, guys, I'll see y'all there. So, I pay zero counter cards for that deck in this matchup. Um, or sorry, in this deck. So it's legitimately a hard mull for Dirty Rat. And then, okay, we hit the rat. And we hit the plague. That's beautiful. So now we just need to hope that our rat... We just need to hope he basically misplays. And we can win through some form of lifesteal. Um, either the 5-5 five five or whatever. Uh, void color would be very nice here. He has a slow start. That's good for us. Touch is okay. Yeah, we need to hit collar. If I could coin collar next turn, that's pretty good for us. Yeah, actually fairly decent for us. I know this draws shit. This draw actually feels like hot trash right now. Hmm. I need to hit exactly collar for turn, or else my hand does absolutely nothing. Collar into slam collar into most likely drain touch it the turn after. Unless he obviously completes quest, in which case it's a rat. We're gonna rat this bitch. Oh, he thinks I'm Reno Lock. That's why he's playing so weirdly. I was gonna say, I don't think he... I don't think anyone draws that bad. I mean, to be fair, I've drawn that bad in this matchup, but... I'm different from everyone else. Oh, uh, no, this... I'm so low and I have nothing in hand to deal with whatever the fuck he's doing. Which feels super fucking bad. He needs to play four more spells that deal damage. He hero powers one more time, he completes his quest. See, this is the problem. I'm so low already, and this deck has basically zero life gain except for touches, drain soul, and Gul'dan. And I guess Dreadlord to a certain extent. But your main thing is like you're you want to try and survive through taunts. And sadly, this matchup taunts mean absolutely fucking nothing. A little too late, I believe, for this one, but... Okay. If it was a Dreadlord or a Malganus, it'd be a different story, because then he'd have to kill the Malganus. The Dreadlord would be fine to, like, Plague, because then he has to kill that, so it saves me 5 health. But... Please complete quest here. Please let me Dirty Rat you. If I get to just Dirty Rat you, even if I lose the game, I'm fine with it. If I just get to dirty rat you, I'll be fine with whatever the outcome of this matchup is. Like, straight up, I'll be fine with it. Don't be smart. Be dumb. Thank you. Well, unless he has another minion in hand, which I kind of doubt, seeing that two of three of his cards are spells, right? Yeah. So this is the only card that could be a minion. I'm absolutely fine with this outcome. Uh, I 
Oh, I drew both of them. I had to draw Melganis. Melganis could have still won me the game. But I think the Dreadlords are just too slow. I'm pretty sure I'm just dead here, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I'm fairly certain I'm just dead here. Um, I need Reno. Give me a Reno. Why aren't you a Reno? Jesus Christ. Okay there, bud. If I survive here, I'm able to theoretically draw a Mal- No, I am not Okay. So if I if I survived here, I could theoretically coin out Malganus next turn and then copy it if it survives and be fine. But the odds of me surviving here were so fucking low. He actually played this matchup really fucking well. Uh, even though he misplayed with a Tavish, uh, he played it really fucking well. Solely due to um, how like how he went so in on the hero power that game, and how well he like managed his hero power to like squeeze as much damage out of it as possible. That was really fucking well played by him. But again, the fuck up not not respecting the dirty rat is something that I notice a lot of uh, hunter players do. So if you're a hunter player and you're queuing into a deck that you suspect could even have like the slightest chance like see there he used uh override or whatever the fuck the card's called um overrun maybe um would you go to just play next turn and then still cast tavish on the same terms he had enough mana to i was going into my eight mana so he would have had two additional mana to go with two of those flares which would have been lethal so there was no reason for him actually to play that there just just wanted to point that out anyways though with that being said um I think we have time for one more game, so let's uh, queue it up, and hopefully it goes well. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. Another fucking hunter? God fucking damn it, man. Again, this matchup feels almost unwinnable. Um, I guess I'll keep that. It's a coin play on four. Again, because I don't survive through taunts this matchup feels very very hard to win very 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 hard to win because he also has like basically infinite damage because of this maybe it sounds weird to say but i think dirty red is not the answer to this deck i think the the answer to this deck is robe plus mindbreaker prevent them from targeting your minions for the rest of the game and then do that this way his only win con is his spells um I think that might be the best play. Cut a soul shear, cut a dark skies, cut both dirty rats, play that. But hey. Who knows? I definitely don't. I'm bad at this game. I'm just gonna continue not drawing enough cards. Or drawing too many cards and then just losing because I'm lose out on tempo. To be fair. This matchup, him not having uh, the Lepernome side quest is like really, really big. Uh... The problem is also the t minion you get off this doesn't have charge. So it's like even harder to win with. I coin this out next turn. I get this the turn after. I get this the turn after. I think he just kills the 5-5. Five five. Because if the 5-5 five five sticks, I win, right? But it just dies. Because it gains me... So much life. Malganus is also a fairly decent card to pull. Malganus is a really good one to pull because I can copy it right away. And being able to copy it right away is like actually ginormous. Because that would be 18 health damage that he'll have to do before um, he can do anything. And then also I'm just getting these and these I feel free just doing this on it. Like just to gain a little bit of life. That's fine. Absolutely fine. I'm not sure that's exactly what you want to do, but okay. Overwhelm, that's the name of the card. I don't know why I call it Overrun, but it's Overwhelm. Overrun. I need to draw the riot. Oh 
no, he didn't complete quests here. He is eternal. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. This is good enough to win. That's fine. They're both at regular life totals. I can still draw a rat to be in a good position. Give me rat. Rat one time for the ones. Rat one time for the ones. Rat, 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 rat me baby. Rat me baby, that's not a rat. Huh, I am only more deadly. Guess who's back? Double Melganus is back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Jesus Christ. So we'll actually be able to complete this. That's actually fucking terrifying. If that's a hunter's mark, I'm going to be actually upset. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Copium. That did not go how I wanted it to go. Whoops. I thought I, I was thought they were gonna die, and then the Melganus was gonna die because magic once again, active inactive player. But it turns out it doesn't work that way. And this is where he hits all the cycle, and I just lose the game. But. I don't actually have an answer to that. To be fair, it doesn't change anything right now. It doesn't change anything. He doesn't get double refreshes of his hero power, so. Killing this is actually correct because it plays around this. But hey. We gotta kill one of them off. Simple, I just need to hit double Melganus or triple Melganus. <laughs> uh, gotta be on them a little bit. We went actually 50 50 with this deck. I think that this deck, by the way, could hit Legend. It's gonna be hard as shit, but I think this deck can definitely do it. Also, sorry for not saying much there. I was very focused on the last game. <laughs> I definitely wanted to win at least one against that deck because you know me, I fucking hate that deck. Um, ooh. Prevent damage with Divine Shields a shitload of times. I play this game way too fucking much. Anyways, though, with all that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't leave a like, subscribe. As I always say, rep the gang. And, um, yeah, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. I completely blanked on that. As we saw the, sorry, I cannot pronounce your name, but... Um, can I drag you over here? Oh, I can't. It feels bad. But yes, um, it's, it's, I believe it's Chinese characters. Uh, sorry for not being able to pronounce your name, but I do not read Chinese. Very, very sorry. Um, anyways, though, with that being said, though, uh, follow me on Twitter as well. You know, I, I occasionally tweet out when I go live, but, uh, yeah, anyways, enough plugging. With that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, guys, peace.